Hello fellow modelers! In this video I'm going to build the most famous Russian tank T-34. Here you can see the finished model. It is in 1 to 72 scale. I was building a kit from Revel and in addition I have added a tons of modifications by myself. I will show you everything in today's video. The kit has fine details and you can build a nice and cute model from it. So let's go to work. I cut out plastic parts from the sprue with side cutters. If you have good quality and sharp tools, you don't have to even clean the parts, because cuts are straight. I use an extra thin glue for plastic parts. Working with it is very easy and fast. So here is the first modification. I make engine covers thinner with a handheld electric drill. It is good to thin the plastic under the lights because otherwise there is the danger that you could drill through the plastic. Now I simply make holes with a sharp knife. I have completely removed the plastic on the back side of the ventilator and I have replaced this part with a fine metal net. Now it looks much better. The main gun barrel from the kit is nice, but the metal one is better. In particular, there is no risk of bending it and you don't have to clean the mold lines. I also replace the plastic handles with metal wires. The main reason for this modification is that they are relatively thick in the kit. The advantage of the metal wire is that you can add battle damage effects and bend the handles differently. It was very common on the real life tanks. Another very common thing is this front fenders. In the real life they were often missing or they were quite damaged. The side fenders were also often damaged during a combat deployment. I used a micro solder and I melt the plastic with a hot tip. Do not forget to make holes in the exhaust pipes. I unify T34 with a grey Mr. Color Surfacer 1000. This Surfacer has excellent coverage properties and it works as a primer too. Now I cover all imperfections with an acrylic party. I make holes in the headlight and machine gun barrel with an ordinary drill and hypodermic needle. Now last but not least modification before actual painting. I have to create welds on the turret. The easiest way is to stretch the plastic sprue over the flame and stick the thread on the turret.
I flatter the thread with a sandpaper because it is round. In the end, I imitate welding texture with a knife. So finally, let's start with painting. I spray tongue tracks with a gunmetal enamel color and I fix the result with a transparent clear varnish. I recommend painting these parts while they are in the sprue. The work is then much easier and comfortable. When I cut out parts from the sprue, you can see grey plastic, but it is not a problem to cover it with a silver paint. So the tracks are finished. Now I spray the rest of the tank. I use Harder und Schneebeck Infinity with 0.15mm nozzle. The color is Lackwear Mr. Color and shade is Field Green. It is lovely green color and it is excellent for Russian tanks. The surface is very uniform and dull, that is why I paint more shadings. The green color is now a little bit muffled, so I spray the model again with a field green, but this time I mix paint with a large amount of a thinner. Then I spray model with a glossy varnish, it will fix the paint and result. There are only two color variants in the kit, but I want to build a model from 36 Tan Brigade in Berlin 1945, so there is nothing left to me than paint the numbers by hand. I use oil paints for this purpose. They are very handy, because they dry one day, and if you make some mistakes, you can simply wipe the paint off with an enamel thinner, and start again. On the original tanks, the numbers were also paint handed. So I try to imitate shapes according to original photo. Finally, let's make the model a little bit dirtier. I use a greenish brown wash for the whole model.
I wipe off excess wash with an enamel thinner and cotton swab. Next, I continue with oil paints. I paint highlights with a light green color. This is how the model may look when you do not want to make it weather it. <laughs> anyway, I like painting and weathering. So let's continue. I apply dry pigments. I make details more pronounced with a black animal wash. I paint leaves with oil paints and blend them with an enamel thinner. I use Tamiya Ultra Finish Pointed Brush for this purpose. I have added wooden logs on the side of a tank. I use ordinary wooden sticks and I imitate the bark structure of a wood with a razor saw.
Now a small bonus. It was quite common during the attack on Berlin in 1945 that there was additional protective mesh installed on the T-34 tanks. It served as a protective against the famous German weapon Panzerfaust. In reality, it was an ordinary bed spring welded on the tank's body. For this purpose, I use edge steel mesh and I make the construction from lead wire. I glue everything together with a super glue. I think that something is still missing. Yeah, scratches. I paint fuel leaks with a mix of enamel clear varnish and brown oil paint. I want to make the headlight broken and therefore I do not put a cover glass there. I still do not like the result, so I paint even more highlights with oil paints. I simply blur yellow color. Well, guys, I didn't expect it that it will look like this when I was opening the box. I didn't plan to add backspring armor and I always thought that it is impossible to create it at last a little bit realistic in this scale. When I was editing this video, I realized how many adjustments I have made on this model. So I guess you could learn something from it and maybe you will use some of these techniques on your own model. So that is really all for today, thanks for watching and see you next time. And yes, here is the finished model.